solve the equation 2 sine 2x minus 1 equals 0. So the first thing I'm going to do is going to set this equal to 0. So the sine, I'll do that quickly, the sine of 2x equals 1 half. Alright, now the trick is this. This, um, some people think they should use the double angle formulas, but actually the way to do this problem is to turn, is to call this thing right here u. So say that the sine of u equals one half. Now look at your unit circle, and the sine is one half um, at pi over six, and it's also one half at five pi over six. But here's the trick: you got to go around. Well. Let me go back and explain this. So pi over 6 and 5 pi over 6 is your answer. U equals pi over 6 and 5 pi over 6. But I'm not trying to solve for U. I'm trying to solve for X. And what was U? U was 2X. So 2X equals pi over 6 and 2X equals 5 pi over 6. So what is U, what is X equal? X equals pi over 12 and x equals 5 pi over 12 but you're not done because notice what I did here pi over 12 and 5 pi over 12 remember these two answers are ones in the first quadrant and ones in the second quadrant but pi over 12 is here and 5 pi over 12 is here those are both in the first quadrant there's going to be two more answers in the second quadrant that I need to find and so this is the way I like to explain it to people. Whenever you see 2x, that means that tells you how many times you have to go around the unit circle. Remember, the sine, the sine of, of 1 half occurs at pi over 6, but it also occurs, occurs at 13 pi over 6 because they're coterminal. Right? If I go around the circle a full another 2 pi, which is 12 pi over 6, I'm going to get to another value which is 13 pi over 6. Same with this one. 5 pi over 6 if I go around another time, in other words add 5 pi over 6 plus 12 pi over 6 is 15 pi over 6. So I'm going to have, I should have put 13 pi over 6 here and what did I say? 15 pi over 6? 17 pi over 6 and 17 pi over 6 Because watch what happens when I set two of that, when I set two x equal to thirteen pi over six, I'm going to get that x equals thirteen pi over twelve, and likewise x is going to equal seventeen pi over twelve. All of these are answers. So because the two x right there, remember this really means that your period, your period is only pi meaning you go through one entire cycle in pi so there's one entire cycle and you're only halfway around the circle so you have to go around again and so you're gonna get your two answers were here and here you're gonna get two answers two more answers there and there and that's what these two things are right there hopefully that makes sense to you watch more videos if it doesn't